Hello everyone and welcome to Day Trader S&P 500. Today is Thursday, June 23rd, 2022. This is Dale Woodson, editor of Woodson Wave Report and Day Trader S&P 500. Let's get our YouTube subscribers caught up on the action here. As usual, I like to start with the Qs. This is a daily chart of the QQQs. You can see we've got a one down. A two up in red with a circle, a three down. Gets a little crowded here. We have a four up. If I could move that, there we go. And uh, we had to stay uh, below 30, uh, sorry, 317 and did at 313. And you can see a five wave pattern breaking out to the downside. This five here, let me see if I can get this in. Gains equality with wave one at 223. Uh, within this five, you can see in black, we've got a, let's just make that smaller. That's a little crowded. Let me get down to an hourly on this so we can see how that's breaking down from the wave four high. Bear with me a minute while I expand this out. There we go. We've got the, um, it's a little crowded there. Let's get rid of the uh, after hours just for the sake of uh, seeing this. It's not a whole lot different overnight. There we go. That's a much cleaner picture. Okay. So from that uh, wave four high, which is back over here, there's those make or break lines. And we've got a one down. I'll move that. One down, a two up, one, two, three, four, five, three down, four up, and a five down. That's the very first wave of the larger wave five. You can see our retracement targets here. It's getting near the 382 at uh, looks like 287. 33 and the 500 is 292 618 is 298 27 shouldn't go any higher than that because there's the wave one low right well i'm sorry it's the second wave big it could go up to the 786 okay so that's what we're looking at here one down then a two up and then we get back to the bigger picture where we are looking at a target of come on there it is 223.38 okay this one worked out really good and that fourth wave worked out really good i want to touch on the u.s tenure because it's important i think people are starting to realize just how important it is uh we had a target there of 4.434 looks like it topped out at 3.576 which was above the original target which was 3.196 okay this is a a weekly chart so it's a little bit bigger time frame but you can see from that low, that 39-year bear market interest rates that ended near the pandemic on March 9th of 2020, we have five completed waves up here to last week. And the retracement levels are, this has nothing to do with any government policies, Fed decisions, uh, anything like that. It's all math. And the math says after five waves up, we get three waves down. There's our minimum retracement at 382 at 1.425% look for rates to come down the make or break if it goes above 3.576 then it's likely going to 4.434 that wave could still extend okay so that's the make or break or where are we wrong and that's the target the next upside target otherwise look for three waves down to go to at least the 1.425 we'll deal with the other ones because this is a weekly chart it's going to take a while okay let's get to the e-minis here we go we are looking at a daily chart from the all-time high. We've got five waves down for A in parentheses, three waves up for B in parentheses, five waves down for C in parentheses, which equals a larger wave A. Okay, these are all fractals of each other. So then we get three waves up for B over here, and then we get another five waves down. One, two, three, four, five. That five waves down equals A in parentheses, and we're in B up. Okay, this larger wave C, you can see the targets there, 3200 or 3201.50 to be exact. But we're looking at wave B up here from that 617 low. Let's go from daily and look at a 10 minute because that's got it pretty clearly. Okay, we're looking at that A wave down. We've got a one up, two down, three up, four down, and a five for wave one. We've got a correction here, almost a perfect 618 correction. From there, we've got a one up and a two down and what appears to be yet another one up and a two down. I know there's overlap there that will qualify as a leading diagonal triangle in wave one of three 
one being in red and two. So we've got a one, two, a one, two, and a one, two. Uh, it's um, not too unusual to have three degrees of trend, but these keep going up in five waves. On the bigger picture, we're looking for a five up, three down, and a five up for wave B. And I think I can show you guys those uh, wave B targets over here. Here they are here. 3854, 3920, 3987, 4081. The make or break is the B wave high, 42.02 and a quarter back on May 31st. So that's those targets there. And this is the 10 minute with those targets there. Okay. A series of ones and twos to the upside. Obviously, you move down here, would have to hold above this. This one already made a higher high by a quarter of a point right here that high there okay so it looks like yet another one two three four five okay so anyway we'll see how that uh that plays out by the way we have a turn date coming up on sunday june 26 i'm thinking this b wave high is going to top friday or monday since the turn date is on a sunday the next trading day closer is monday which is the 27th so we may see that b wave high hit one of these targets right here okay let me see if i have some pics for you guys here's our uh here's our daily chart with the bigger picture there okay and we have come on here it is the 10 minute right there that's that series of ones and twos from the a wave low this looks like it's shaping up as a five three five we'll see that play out we'll see if that that the uh, time marries with price okay that's it for today and until next time take care everyone